Listen to me carefully. Sometimes God reunites couples and families, but he doesn't do it always. So don't let your emotions rule your life. Don't let how you feel rule your, rule your life. Don't let, uh, you know, emotions or feelings on the inside move by pain or pleasure to take you in a direction. Don't let negative emotions rule your life. Don't let those bad emotions from the breakup, from the divorce, even from the death, don't let it rule your life. Don't let it take you to, down a path that you don't need to go down. We all have emotions, but it's important that we make sure those emotions don't have us, especially when they're negative. And I tell you, I see a lot of people who are emotionally ruled. You know, 20, 30, 40 years go by, and they still are broken because here is God with the solution. Here is God with the promise, I'll heal your broken heart, and we still allow our emotions to reign in our life and to rule in our life. And you cannot allow negative emotions to rule your life. It will keep you stranded in that same place. Don't let disappointment destroy your self-identity. Don't let disappointment hurt you. Don't let your hurts, uh, you know, somebody says, well, I'm disappointed, uh, I, and I, I feel some kind of way, uh, and as a result of it, you hurt me, and now my relationship with God is hurt. You know, somebody did something that disappointed you, and you're upset with them, and now you're upset with God. You're, you're, you're upset with them, and now you don't want to come to church anymore. You're upset with them, and now you don't want to read your Bible anymore. See, you're mad at God, who's the only one that can help you. <laughs> and so you got to make sure that that broken relationship doesn't have the potential to cause you to be mad at God or that that brokenness doesn't hurt your relationship with God. Now, a broken relationship has the potential to destroy your life. It has the potential to destroy your life, but only if you let it. Broken relationships and the emotions that come with it and all of that stuff, it has the potential of destroying your life only if you let it. Now, I, you listen, if you live on this planet, the Bible says in this world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer. The Bible says those that live godly, those that live godly shall have tribulation. Trouble will come. So you've got to make sure that you don't let life happen to you, you happen to life. But it's a choice. Every person in here who is still suffering from a broken relationship, that's your choice. Or every person who's tuned in today and you're, you're, you know, you've, you've recovered from it, you've, you've gone to God, you've allowed God to heal and deliver you, that was your choice. See, you got to understand you are a free moral agent. Look at this 